Now, radio host Alex Jones is one of the people, one of the outsiders who have infiltrated Bohemian Grove. He sneaked in back in 2000 and he filmed what he saw, some of it. And he joins us from Austin, Texas, to tell us about these backwood deals. He also said he might have heard something over the weekend. Alex, on Friday we spoke, and thank you for joining us from Texas. Uh, we spoke and you said you were going to get some intel for us on this year's gathering. Did you find anything out? Yes, we did, and we're learning a lot more. Um, I've talked to employees uh, that work inside the Grove, and they said that uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, Bush 41, did engage uh, in a drum circle uh, with some of the uh, younger uh, people that were there, some of the big computer company uh, CEOs. Uh, George Herbert Walker Bush has done this in the last few years in a row, stripping down to his underwear uh, late at night. Well, uh, okay, let's let's put aside that. Do we know who's there this year and what is uh, top uh, on the some agenda the policy wise? Uh, 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 yes, some of the people inside have reported that some of the guests, not members, are Tom Cruise, uh, Mark McGuire, uh, people like that have been seen by some of the employees that we have uh, contacts uh, with. Uh, but you were asking what type of stuff was going on. That's some of the uh, revelry. And, and we also know that on the Lakeside uh, chat agenda, uh, they're discussing how to expand the Arab Spring and basically uh, have the West uh, take over and overthrow many of the dictators that the West uh, has been propping up. Uh, really, it mirrors much of the agenda uh, that our moles got uh, out of Bilderberg 2011 when I sent my reporters uh, to Switzerland. Now, on Friday, you know, these are some, some big topics, and you made some allegations that your sources have told you um, about that are, you know, a pretty big deal for what could be being discussed. And on Friday, the interview that we had, you and I, was really popular on the Internet. It became actually one of the ten most discussed over the weekend, according to YouTube. So it shows that there is an interest in this subject. There is, a, a, you know, general desire for, to find out what's going on at something like this at Bohemian Grove. But aside from that, I really didn't see much over the weekend as far as press. I mean, a few blogs, um, maybe, you know, a few print articles. Why do you think we're not hearing anything about it this year? Well, Lauren, that's a good question. If you uh, look at something like Bohemian Grove, uh, there's been very little press over the years about it. Same thing with Bilderberg. Just five, six years ago, the New York Times uh, you know, made fun of myself and others saying that Bilderberg didn't even exist, and it was a former German Chancellor, Helmut Schmidt, that said much of what is decided at Bilderberg uh, is also uh, you know, brought to a consensus uh, at Bohemian Grove, and it's because so many of the CEOs of the big six media companies uh, in the United States and Canada are in attendance that it would be career suicide for any of their reporters uh, to report on it. In fact, a People magazine reporter back in the 80s uh, snuck in and later had to publish uh, his article in another magazine and was fired uh, over, you know, daring uh, to infiltrate the Grove, and uh, he was caught and uh, arrested. Uh, and so that's why uh, you, you don't see hardly any mainstream media coverage of this. Uh, I mean, imagine you've got a thousand plus of the most powerful people in North America uh, in, in the past and currently royalty flying in to be at these events, uh, past presidents. Uh, the, the Bohemian Grove brag that uh, Dick Cheney was chosen as the VP running mate for Bush uh, in 2000 there. Uh, I mean, th this is the power brokers, and they want to be left alone. And so the media they own and control is not going to cover it, and that's mm -hmm. why I'm glad RT is covering it. Well, and that said, though, Alex, and I hear what you're saying, and thanks for thanking us for covering it. We think it's important to be talking about. But you've been really interested in this in the past. You've gone. You've sneaked in. You've videoed it. How come you don't have the interest this year? How come you weren't there? Uh, well, uh, to be honest with you, I almost got arrested uh, in November of last year. Uh, I went there with the History Channel, with Decoded, and uh, it turned out that they had talked a little too much at their hotel uh, because the town is heavily employed by the Grove and that they were waiting for us. And so um, we, we landed uh, there on the back end uh, via the Russian River. Uh, and they were starting to go up, and um, and I basically you know hung back, and then boom, here came the security people, uh, d d detained them. Uh, I was not detained. I went and jumped off a cliff into the river and swam away. And so you know what? I think I pressed my luck enough here, 
Okay. And uh, I had to swim out of the river, and, and that's actually been on uh, the History Channel, but they cut it at the point that the police come out and the security guards because of liability issues. So I literally uh, had to escape and uh, jump into the river and uh, make my way back over a mile and then climb out uh, right. where my driver was waiting. So it sounds like a lot went on. You don't want to relive that. But uh, one of the groups who was calling for people to show up and to protest, reportedly anonymous, put out a video on the Internet, the hacking group. It can't be confirmed that it was them exactly, but that's what you know, the video purports it to be. I want to play a little bit of what they were calling for. The ideas, concepts, and plans that are devised at Bohemian Grove result in crimes against humanity. These secret meetings must no longer be tolerated. These secret meetings must become transparent. So that's what Anonymous was calling for. They were calling for protests as a result of, you know, some of the things that they see as the problems with Bohemian Grove. But what about those who suggest that it's just past its prime, that it's not a big deal anymore? You know, we haven't heard a lot of what has gone on there, you know, that's been impactful really since the 80s. Um, so do these people have a point? Well, no. Uh, first, the corporate media denied it existed for a long time, just like Bilderberg. And now that we've exposed it, they say, oh, it's no big deal. Uh, the reason they have Secret Service there, the reason there's such security, is because major global decisions are being made uh, inside the North American slash British power axis, known as the Anglo-American establishment that their own historian Carol Quigley wrote about. And as I said, German Chancellor Schmidt, uh, Helmut Schmidt wrote about how major decisions are being made there. The Grove likes to m say they don't have any power and then try to be secret, but then separately via the San Francisco Chronicle, Berkeley, and uh, San Jose State, they release the minutes, usually decades after the fact, of meetings they had mm -hmm. at the chalet. Uh, if it's a meeting house, holds several hundred, uh, and then also the lakeside chats. Mm -hmm. And so for 15 days, extremely powerful people are getting together, not to just get drunk. Uh, they're getting together uh, because in this atmosphere of revelry, they're able to, 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 to cement the leadership uh, of uh, the New World Order system and get a continuity of agenda going uh, by combining forces. They protect their assets, mm -hmm. but also expand uh, their power. And so a lot more decisions get made there than get made in Congress. Uh, and then their lapdogs in the Congress uh, basically execute uh, what the Bohemian Grove's lobbyists from the major corporations pay them uh, to do. So this is special interest meeting. Uh, under the Redwoods in a 2,800-acre uh, uh, compound under guard, mm -hmm. uh, and major decisions are being made there, and the Logan and that's, Act and that's Alex, is being violated. Okay, and that's quite a charge. So my question to you, since you have people on the ground, you know, you have wait staff that you say you talk to, you've been there yourself, what is the biggest example you would give in recent years that makes you feel like major stuff is going on there that people should be concerned about? Uh, you've got more and more the leadership of Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, and Apple at Bilderberg and also at the Grove, and more and more the establishments counting on their technocracy. Uh, they've got the, the technology heads meeting with the head of the NSA at Bilderberg and reportedly also uh, at Bohemian Grove to codify the cybersecurity takeover of the web. The Pentagon admits they've got fake bots out propagandizing Americans with fake comments that they want to be able to have an internet kill switch, that, that now they're going to have government announcements forcing their way onto your mobile phones and portable computers with government announcements. Uh, and you've got the technocrats and, and, and the corporate owners of the technocracy meeting with government in this seamless fusion uh, that can only be called corporate fascism or crony capitalism. And so a lot of big decisions are being made at Bilderberg uh, and Bohemian Grove. All right. Well, Alex Jones, thank you for giving us your insight and let us know if you hear any, uh, you know, anything that comes out of this meeting this year that, uh, that we should know about. So thanks. That was Alex Jones, radio host from Austin, thanks, Texas. Robert.